how I'm using self-manager.net for project management. This is the login view and I'm currently on the date 23 June 2025. So it's a start of the week. What I first do is personalize my dashboard. I have this image on the top, this image on the left and my profile image. Then I start to create a table for this week. I call it this week. And you can also use AI if you want. You can enter your data and it will generate tasks that you can edit and approve. Then for description, I'll leave it blank. Then for the first task, and the cool thing, I can link an existing table to this view. And this is what I will do. I've opened a new tab and opened my pin tables. You can open them from here. So let me right click to copy the link. Or if you are on that project, the URL will be for that project. And I just paste the project URL. We set the priority to one, or you can leave it as five, it's not important. And you can have multiple links on the same table. You can expand the field if you want to be easy for you to add additional data. And then after I add my tasks for this week, I add images if it's the case, or add notes. I can also choose to not track time. I don't need time tracking, I will create additional table for each day named today, and in those I will track time. So I'll choose not track time for this one. After you add the table, the URL will change, reflecting the table ID, and the tables appear on the left. And you can see I have a preview of each table and its progress. And I can just click on it and confirm, and it will take me to that table without rolling the page, so it's super fast. I can also add a self message, maybe something motivational or to keep you track on tasks. Now that I have my plan for this week, I go and create a table specifically for this day. So it's Monday 23. And this will be what I will do on that date. Then when I have everything prepared for this day, I click add and I use time track. So I don't click don't track time. Now the order can be easily changed from these buttons when you move your mouse over and you see these buttons. Let's move this here. But if you have a larger table, you can also click this button order by and select the criteria as you want it to be ordered. And you can also move the position for the tables on the left sidebar. So these are the tables available for this date. Linking between existing projects is important because you can work, for example, for a few weeks or even months on a single project. If that project is large or you want to get an idea of what is going on, you can use Summarize with AI. And we are using the best AI model on the market for this. Then after I created my day, I go to images and I add some motivational images and I go to this button and I upload the images that I want. These can be for projects, as you can see here, for projects, you can add images specific to the project. But for day to day, I use these for motivational purpose. I select the images that will be uploaded. And here you have a button, add background image to header of this table. I click and confirm and the image has been updated. And the interesting thing is that each table can have its own image. And if a table doesn't have an image, you can set it globally for all tables that don't have an image. Then for comments on day-to-day -day tables, I add some music or some motivational content. But comments are a powerful feature that can be used by teams, and you can add team members by going to this button, share access to this table, and you give access to team members. But this is the case for projects like these tables on which you work multiple days. And since we covered the button here, there are additional buttons like pin this table, copy text from this table, duplicate table, transfer table to a certain date, edit table, or remove table. I found the videos that I want to add for today and I can add them so they are linked to this table. Now what I also do for this week table, I pin it to the top. So I have it this week in my pin tables and it appears here. You can also modify the order of the tables in the pin tables view to satisfy your needs and priorities. Let's go back to today and as I make progress with tasks, I complete them and the time of completion appears on the right. And we have additionally calculated time at the bottom and the activity on the top right. So if you work on a task one hour, and then two hours next to this one, it will update accordingly. But we know that in the world you take breaks and certain things happen. So if you click it later, you want it to reflect two hours, for example, you go on row settings and modify the started update. Let's say I started one hour ago and I'll leave the completed as it is. And I click save and the time has been updated. And I also see at the bottom as well. You can also use the timer. This one is very precise. You can pause it, you can cancel it. And if you are completed, you just click complete. I can also add a link to each table of this week. For example, if we created a table for each day, which I do, we can copy the content of it and we can add it here so we can see progress. And these will appear like seven weeks. If you work every week, you will see clear progress in your this week table. And what we can do, we can take advantage of the duplicate and transfer table to reuse an existing table. What we do, we go at the bottom of the table from the previous day or any day that you want to replicate and click duplicate table. This will take a copy of the table and create a new one based on it. This includes also images, but let's say you want to use different images. We just click remove 
it will remove all images and then we do the transfer we select the date and we click send and this will send the table to the new date then i go and unmark the progress and i have a fresh view of the table and in case you want to edit certain things you just click edit button and modify the things that you want to be modified or you can remove individual tasks by going to task row setting and confirming the delete and you get the point of how I'm using the tables for each day and for every week and for every project. The list of my most important projects is in pinned list. You can see all the progress of these tables. You can see an average of all tables and you just click on the table that you want to go and you confirm and it will take you to that table. What you can also do is to summarize with AI all the tables from your pinned list and afterwards you can continue the conversation with the AI through a chat box. And it is super useful because it has all the context about time and progress about your tables. Then for projects that I want to share with my team members, I go on share access to table and I just invite them. And this is also for clients. If you have clients working on software projects or something remote, you can also add your clients. What you can do is duplicate a table, keep private for you and a public one for the client. Then at the end of the week, let's say we are on Sunday and we used all days of the week with data. What we can do is click on AI period summary and I do this and I review my week. But if you missed it, maybe it's Monday, you just click on previous week. How I'm reviewing my week using AI. I'm on the app selfmanager.net and on the page AI period summary. I wanna get the report on my previous week work. Then I just click previous week. You have the option this week, this month, previous month, or any week or any month. This will take about one minute, but I will fast forward. It takes this time because it uses the thinking models. And the report is ready. It knows the period from July 14 to July 20. It tells me about the weekly milestone. And then we have the hours that are logged in during this week, 69.3, 73 tasks, and 77 completion rate. Then as we scroll down, it gives me a breakdown of every day of the week. It shows me the logged in time, then project spotlight. It tells me that I work on multiple projects, Shopify projects, Squarespace projects, and on this app, then productivity insight and tips, excellent work-life integration, sustain high performance streak, monitor high workload. And then I can follow up and ask what project took the most amount of time this week. And I got a response, it tells me the project name, it tells me that I worked 19.3 hours on this project in comparison to other major projects. And you can ask it any question that you may think of relating to your data. And I find it super useful, you can ask it any questions that you might think of.